Well, the Spokane City Council is set to make a decision on late utility bills this evening. This comes as many people fell behind on their payments during the pandemic. The total of missed payments is more than $6 million. Krem 2's Ian Smay live in the newsroom tonight with more on how many people are behind on their payments and how the city plans on helping them out. Ian? Mark, Tom, the start of tonight's city council meeting is about an hour away, and here's what we know about how much in late payments the city is hoping to help people pay off. According to Spokane Public Works, Works Director Marlene Feist, almost 7,500 customers had utility bills that were at least 30 days late as of the start of September. Those late payments totaled about $6.3 million, and almost half of that amount, or $3.1 million, was owed by just 1,400 of those customers. Feist also said that those 1,400 customers missed most or all utility payments since March 2020, which was near the start of the pandemic here in Spokane. City Council President Brian Bagg says the statewide moratorium on utility shutoffs for past due bills ended at the end of September, and their resolution will basically extend that moratorium here locally until March 31st, 2022. That means people with past due bills have until then to either agree on a payment plan with the city or just pay those bills off. He added that another part of the plan the council will vote on includes wording that drops late fees for anyone who gets into a payment plan by the end of November. He did warn that if people don't catch up on those bills or get in a plan by the end of next March, shutoffs could happen, but the goal is to prevent people from having their water shut off. The city also has a U-Help program set up on their website to provide assistance for people struggling to pay those bills. Feist did specify that th since those customers are still on the hook for the bills, it isn't seen as a loss of money for the city. We will be tracking that meeting tonight and we'll have more on what the council decides in our shows later this evening. For now, in the newsroom, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.